who presents this woman to be married to this man? We do. Friends, we are assembled here in the presence of God, these witnesses. Join together this man and this woman in the unity of marriage. There are no obligations on earth more sacred than those you are about to assume. There are no vows more solemn than those you are about to declare. There is no human institution more important than that of the home you shall now create. The true marriage is the holiest of all human relationships. And we know that you now enter into it thoughtfully and with a complete understanding of its sacred nature. Today your lives, with their individual memories, desires, and hopes, emerge as one. May you always look at each other with the eyes of love, and you are looking at each other with love in this moment. Jim, you take this woman to be your wedded wife, and you live together in the holy state of matrimony. You love, promise to love her, comfort her, honor her, and cherish her at all times, and forsaking all of us. Only unto her, to you. Jody, you take this man to be your wedded husband. You live together in the holy state of matrimony. You promise to love him, comfort him, honor him, cherish him at all times, and forsaking all of us, keep only unto him, unto you. Now, as you face each other, please repeat after me. Hi, Jim. Take you, Jody. Be my wedded wife. To love and to cherish. And from this day forward, I pledge you my faith and my love. I, Jody, take you, Jim. Be my wedded husband. To love and to cherish. And from this day forward, I pledge you my faith and my love. And what gift you give symbolizing your love. This ring is a symbol of the unbroken unity of love now to be manifested in your married life. As it is made in the form of a circle, it represents the truth of the law of life as we give to each other, we receive from each other. As you give of your faith and love, understanding and compassion each to the other, it shall be returned unto you, enhanced and multiplied. Will you repeat after me as you place the ring on her hand. With this ring, I be one. Let it ever be the symbol of our love. As an outward sign, our commitment and our love. I place it now upon your hand. Jody, will you repeat after me? As a symbol of our love and our commitment, I give it place upon my hand. Jody, what gift do you give symbolizing your love? <laughs> Wedding rings have another symbolic meaning. And on those occasions that you are separated physically one from the other, you know as you do these rings that they return you to this treasured moment where you have affirmed your oneness in love, oneness in spirit, and oneness with God. This inner awareness shall sustain, inspire, and bless you both. You repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed. Let it ever be a symbol of our love. As an outward sign of our commitment and our love, I place it now upon your hand. Can you repeat after me? As a symbol of our love and our commitment, I give it place upon my Jody, Jim. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements a marriage should bring. 
And may life grant you also patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you know your fullness. May you have happiness, may you find it making one another happy. May you have love, may you find it loving one another. And in, in as much as you, Jim, and you, Jody, have joined together in the unity of marriage, and have witnessed the same before God, as chosen witnesses, your family and these friends present, and have pledged your faith and your love each to the other, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present you James Randall and Jody Brash Bias. Champagne right here, Jason. Yeah? Not alcoholic down there. Okay. Are we full? Mosquito in this one. Are we done? Woo! Perfect. Party on. Kind of. I think I was supposed to sit along the side. Did I? I didn't make the free suit, Andy. You're going to find a job there, Steve. Why, thank you, sir. Well, got to get all your head in. <laughs> Just a minute ago, I said all kinds of real funny stuff. Oh, that's what I figured. Jason, did you get Ty Paul the ring? Yeah. Except the, I started laughing, so the camera's shaking. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh! Um, <laughs> No. Here, I'll do one too here for you. This is regular. Um, Maybe. Regular. Oh, no, no, no. Careful. Oh. Nice sleight of hand, Ty. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah. Did you capture it? I, could, I knew it was coming, but I couldn't get a close up. Uh, I had him for a second. Oh, I, I fooled that guy. I fooled that Reverend. I'm not kidding you. I got him. <laughs> I got him good, but good. I know. Like grape juice, sparkling grape juice. Yeah, white, white, white. Uh, I know, I thought. You try to wait for the toast. Oh, yeah. I just kept I'm not a hugger. 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 Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. 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 you. Thank 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 you. 
Thank you. Jody Brash by his wedding. It was it was it was a wonderful day. Um, I think the best part about it for me was the community, the closeness of the group. Yeah. Cynthia, did you say? Yeah. I just want to add. How long do we do this for? I don't know, it's, I think it's starting to look like a, like a picture now, so they're going to want to like, take this particular part and... I can go longer than you. Because uh, Jim will come away and he'll say, you got to take this and take pictures of other things. How did you just touch? Nothing. Oh. Okay. Yep. Oh, so this is not the sun. You're getting the sun too. Yep. Oh, good. He's talking to the mic there. Okay. There. How's that? That's pretty good. Okay. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jody. Hi, Mom. Uh oh. I think I let snow. Yep. Uh oh. I think they're going regularly. I think you're done. Marriage, Jim and Jody. Jody and Jim. You're supposed to say the bride's name first, right? Congratulations, you guys. Happy day. Because Thanks. you could. <laughs> oh, hi. I just gotta get lots of pictures of you now, John, to make up for Do you have my it. head? <laughs> yeah, get, get your well, head. Well, you just get the top of my head for that. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you can splice it together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a parallel thing. Some videos from Steve. Steve. I'm worried about my We don't know what we're doing. I hope you appreciate it. I actually know how to do that because I videotaped someone doing it before. Are you Jason? Yeah. I'm Sandy. Hi, I'm Udi. I'm a friend of Cindy's, but I've never met Oh, yeah. We almost saw you in Chicago once. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Jimmy. Hi, Oh, 
As you know, I am Jimmy's godfather, and it's indeed a great honor to be here, and of course to to be Jimmy's godfather. Um, I have not had the, the privilege to to know Jimmy that well. I've lived in Montreal most of the time since, since Jimmy was was born, mm -hmm. so I've been deprived of that of that affection. But being here today with his many friends and uh, his family, and standing next to my my very best friend, Jim Bias and his amazing and very attractive wife uh, really is a tremendous thrill to me. Uh, I haven't had the chance, as I said, to watch Jimmy become the very fine person that he is. I, I can speak now that, I, that his spectacularly good judgment <laughs> in choosing this delightful and beautiful young lady and person. So will you join with me in in extending them our hope that their love might endure what all endless love must, disappointment, sorrow, and also the joy and serenity that endless love brings, and that their friendship and love will not only be for themselves, but extended to the world, to love the world as it is, but to love this world to make it a better place. And here's to their love and friendship. Here, here, Thank you, Greg. Beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, there's sound. I think I got on. I'm Ty, and I'm the best man, and I'm the cousin, and uh... What? Should I give you a second to collect? Yeah, thing, I think gather everybody things organized up? to the right places. Should I start over with? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. We're in bed. Go ahead. You're here. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm in the right spot. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jim and Jody's marriage that we witnessed today. And uh, I, I started out that way. I even went, went to the great length of going to the bookstore to look for a book of prefabricated toasted quotes. <laughs> and such a thing doesn't exist, or I couldn't find it. So I decided to do a little something different. Um, <laughs> What I'm going to do is about 15 to 20 minutes of my, my best coin magic. <laughs> it's a horribly perverted inside sick joke. But I actually do have a, a compact little house that I'd like to give right now. And it um, starts out, Jim and I are pretty, pretty close. We have a pretty tight relationship. Um, Jim's an only child and, and always has been. And, <laughs> and when I was a, a youngster, before my brother and sister's brains developed enough to be you know, valid playmates, we were, we were uh, essentially brothers. Uh, it's true. And, and we, we spent countless hours in the corner of Kmart, Target, and Minnesota fabric stores <laughs> commiserating over our punishment for bad behavior. And I, I think we really got to know how we felt about things in, in those uh, countless hours. And, and I think things have only gotten tighter. Uh, you know, Jim, Jim moved away, but then, <coughs> then as we grew up, we started doing things together. And, uh, and uh, I think we're really pretty, pretty close right now. And the, the upshot of this whole thing is that I'm a pr pretty tuned into Jim, and I know it makes him tick, and I know it makes him happy, and uh, Jody does those things tremendously well. I think in the last year, I've, I've seen Jim at his best, and I think it's going to get better, hopefully, and uh, it's just been wonderful. They work together. They're a great synergy, and the other, the other neat thing is we've sort of benefited as a as a larger group of people. Her circle of friends and Jim's circle of friends have sort of melded into one great big fun loving group of people. So that's fantastic. Um, it's also, Jim is the first person in, in my generation to get married. And uh, yeah, it's true, it's true, he, he is. And, and I think he and Jody are, are setting a fabulous precedent for the rest of us to follow. And I wanna wish them a long, and fruitful and happy marriage and party on. <laughs> Here's to you. Six geese a laying! <laughs> 
If you cut it over here, I can't see it. I want to get my camera. Can we take the top off? Right? Yeah. Okay, right. So you can't no, Michael. No get, way. Get no way. No, way. no, 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 no it's time to go. <laughs> okay. Put the first piece Don't together. Me. And okay. you're supposed to feed it to each other. Come on, big one. Do we cut from here? How do we know? Someone we cut from been, here? Who's been married? <laughs> help us out here. What Where do we, do we, we cut from? Well, how do we do this? Yeah, I think anyway. Jim, we go. She's got a knife. Norma, Norma, you got the flash out. What do we do? So we take that all off? Norma. It's on the side. You know what to do here? Take the top off Don't. that before we cut it off. all the way to the end. That's the wrong guy, huh? Well, of course I don't. I understand that. What one do we take off? We take off the whole top thing. This, yes, this is, you're supposed to freeze this. And, and, and on your anniversary, you're supposed to have that for dessert. Dad, let them do their own. Well, no, we want to do it. Yes. Yeah. Then they cut this from the second part. Okay. Then the first one. I want you to cut the cake. I'm Brad. Oh, I'm Brad. Hey, you do? Yes. Yeah. 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 Hey, Jim. The thing about the river in the key of D minor. See, Jody? I kind of thought you made that up. Don't go there. Can I, can I get a shot of the, um, the little guy there? The little guy and little woman there. Freeze it. Freeze it. Jimmy. I didn't want to do it. Jimmy. Jimmy. It's chocolate. Oh, yeah. Just that. No, don't shoot it. Alright, now we gotta cut this. Alright, this works well, right? Nope. And get a nice picture, guys. Oh, it's hard. You say the whole piece, the whole. People don't freeze it. We'll just keep it in the cupboard. Keep it in the cupboard for a year. A lot of stuff. Wow. Do I see that now? Thank you. What's your, what, who's your, 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 <laughs> hey, taste, taste a little more of that, Jim. That's right. Hey, Jimmy, have you ever smoked that bacon? It smells really funny. Does it? Yeah, smell it. 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 Smell well, Steph drove it over here. I rode the Impala. I'm sorry.